right, thank you for tuning into the channel today. And you guys want to know about this video here. That's why you're obviously watching it. Look, uh, this guy Mark from uh, Island Watch out there in Long Island, New York. Uh, he seems like a nice enough guy. Um, but here's the thing, guys. All these people on YouTube, they're all a bunch of con artists, scammers. I don't know what you call them. Maybe not scammers. They're not scamming you, but they're they're all trying to sell something, okay? And there's, they've got scam uh, characteristics, con artist characteristics, I'd say. I don't know. That's just me. But he has just recently been on uh, the TGV program. Now, I'm guessing... He probably paid money or something to be on the, the TGV to try and sell his watches. And he's on there talking about his watches. Guys, these watches. Now, here's here's the Seiko here. Here's the original, okay? When you look at his watches, his watches, he copied them identically. Not only did he copy the way they look, he also copied the Seiko movement. He uses this, the same Seiko movement in these watches, okay? Well, I don't know if it's the same exact one as in here, but I looked it up. It's a Seiko movement, guys. Uh, basically, this the, the whole watch that he tries to sell you, he makes them in different colors, many different hot colors, you know, and all this stuff. But, guys, why why wouldn't you just go with the Seiko? Why wouldn't you go and, and buy a Seiko it's basically the same price. They go for around the same price. He wants three hundred dollars, two ninety nine for his Islander watch, which is nothing more than a freaking a knockoff Seiko. Okay, I guys, it, it, people out there don't even want to walk around with the Seiko. A lot of watch people in the watch community are are, are hung up on on status. They won't even wear a Seiko. They won't even wear a Seiko. Here's the Island Watch. The Island Watch is, is look at it. It's a ripoff of a Seiko. And all this guy is trying to do is get rich off of, now I want to know who out there is going to run out and buy this watch. I think I saw a guy out on, on YouTube World, a watch guy. I think his name is Saline Diver or something like that. Saline Diver. I could have sworn I saw a YouTuber out here, a watch YouTuber that actually has an Islander watch. Guys, that is pathetic. That is pathetic. Why would you buy a knockoff Seiko? It's not even it's not even a knockoff Rolex or a knockoff Tudor. It's a knockoff Seiko. I mean, talk about bottom of the barrel. Talk about reaching down to the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> You're, he makes a, a knockoff of a Seiko XKX. He makes a knockoff out of it. This is his main selling Islander watch is the knockoff Seiko SKX. What a joke, people. What a joke. What type of person is going to wear a knockoff Seiko XKX? A homage watch. A homage to a, a $300 watch. It's not a homage to a, a, a Rolex. I mean, I know there's like, you know, you got the Steinhardt out there. And there are certain companies that specialize in homage watches to Rolex and, and all this. But guys, <laughs> that's a homage to, you know, $10,000 watch. This is a homage to a $300 watch. How low in the barrel can you grab? How low in the barrel can you go? I, I, I really want to know. I should I should have put some pictures uh, out, up here of who I think is buying these watches. All I would have to do is go to Walmart and snap pictures of people at Walmart, do some Walmart watching, and I and I could have the pe the type of people that are buying a Seiko X X XKX homage. I mean it it is literally <laughs> it is literally it has got to be Walmart people. It's got to be the bottom of the barrel barrel. Walmart dwellers, okay? Man, my next video, I got to come out with a, a, a video about Walmart people. And, and I can call it uh, Walmart people slash uh, Islander watch people. <laughs> I mean, who makes a homage of a, of, a, of a $300 watch, a Seiko SKX? Who in their right mind? Who in their right mind? And then on top of it, Mark is the brainchild of, of, of this and making this hunk of garbage 
and selling it for 300 bucks when it's a homage. I mean, why are you selling it for $300? Why are you selling it for the same price that the original goes for? That makes no sense. Steinhardt doesn't get into the market and say, hey, we're going to make a homage here of a Rolex, and we're going to charge the same price. What? What? Are you insane? Is there something wrong with you? Do you have fucking rocks? Do you have fucking rocks in your head? I mean, this guy must have rocks for brains. He's got rocks in his head to actually make a homage watch of a Seiko XKX and charge the same price. Charge the same price. And I'm sure the, the, the movement is Seiko. That's fine. So you got Seiko quality in the movement. But you don't have Seiko quality in the, the rest of it, the case or the bracelet, do you? He's outsourcing the case and the bracelet from, from you know, some, whatever, Wuhan, China. He's outsourcing it from some cheap factory making, you know, garbage parts, garbage parts for garbage watches. Why would you pay the same price for something that's, that's not even as good quality as the original? And it's a Hamash. Nothing about this makes any sense, people. Nothing about this makes any sense. And for the whole, for the watch community not to say anything about this until I do this video, I mean, what the hell is wrong with you people? What the hell is wrong with you people? Why didn't Archie say something? Why didn't, why didn't any of these gurus say anything about this? Archie's supposed to be this big guru. And this big mouth. He's got a big mouth. And he's supposed to be out there saving us. Saving us from making dumb purchases. Everybody knows about this guy, Mark. Everybody's heard of Islander Watch and and an Island Watch uh, store and all this stuff. Everyone knows. Even TGV. Now I know Archie watches TGV like a hawk and steals all his ideas and tries to do the same exact videos. He saw he saw when when he went on the TGV channel and tried to tried to sell his uh tried to sell his watches on there i mean come on guys this is disgusting who i want to know who watches who 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 uh who listens to what tg tgv says i want to know i want to know those people because this is it's disgusting people i don't like watching the home shopping network that's why i don't watch it that's why I don't watch TGV. I go in and I check up on the nastiness of what's going on. That's why I bring you this, guys, to talk about the nastiness in the watch community online here. And it's nasty. And, and, and TGV is being nasty like he usually is. That little gremlin is being nasty along with this guy, Mark, and trying to sell this this thing that doesn't make sense, this hunk of garbage that doesn't make sense, a homage to a $300 watch that you shouldn't be making homages to in the first place. You could buy the original. I don't care if you have different colors in this. It's a, it's, it's garbage. It's garbage, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And so I'm sorry. I, I got to do this video about uh, these these uh, watch con artists or whatever you want to call them, these uh, tele, watch televangelists, watch YouTube evangelists trying to get your money for, for garbage, for garbage, for substandard garbage. And I cannot believe I'm the first one to do this video about this garbage and the, and the whole crew around this. And, I, and, I, and I'll, let me tell you something. I cannot stand this crew now. I, didn't, I thought, you know, this guy Mark was a nice enough guy and everything. But now that he's, 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 he's gone to a, do a whole new level. Owning a watch store online and going on YouTube to try and pro that's one thing. Coming out with this heap of garbage, this heap of shit, a homage to a watch that should never have been homage to in the first place, a Seiko SKX, and then charging the same price? I would understand. Mark, I would understand if you were charging 100 bucks for this thing or 150 half price. You're charging the same price. That makes no sense at all. That makes absolutely no sense. At least Steinhardt is smart enough to charge a hell of a lot less for a homage watch. Anyways, that is all. That is all, folks. I, I think I said enough here. I think I said enough people straight.